Ship it back together. I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean up all my trim the best I can. But I'm gonna first, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sunroof in since I got it in the booth. Then once I get that in, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and try to get all my trim together. Just put the sunroof glass back in. I also done pulled a lot of the parts out. I'm trying to organize them. I still got to clean them up. Got the fender wheel trim right here. Some of the window sweeps. The outer window sweeps. The rocker panel motors. I think this is an extra one. Right. Tail lights, the grill, the headlights, the emblem, the LS quarter glass. I think I'm going to start with the rear clip, well, the front clip. I'm going to go ahead and put the headlights and the grill back on. And I think I'm going to put the side markers, the front, back on. Also the emblem. Then I'll go ahead and put the bump on after that. and the bezels. I also went on to put the side mark on. I still got to put the trim on. I guess I need to go ahead and start putting these trim pieces on along the rocker panel. I'll probably go ahead and put the lock and the handles on too. the 
acapella trim on on both sides. I still gotta do the quarter light trim on both sides. Also got the locks in and the grounded in. What I'm finna do now, I'm finna go ahead and put the fender wheel trim on. Gonna go ahead and put these pieces on here. Just got through installing the fender wheel trim. I'm gonna go ahead and do the the front and the rear window sweeps. The outer. Got them over here. He didn't get new inner because his inner was good. But I got the outer here. Like this one here for this driver side. Just go in here like that. And go ahead and screw these down. Then I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the rear quarter glass in. Got the window sweeps on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the quarter glass in now. And I got it right here. And this little pillar piece, it goes right, goes right here. It holds the quarter glass in place. Quarter glass on. Now I'm finna put these two trim pieces on. It's two on the back door. It's four, not four, but three on the front. These little pieces here. Just snap in along here. Got the trim around the windows done. Now it's time to put this top trim piece on. These two pieces here connect together and it goes along the drip rail from here all the way down to here. Okay, I got the drip rail trim installed. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the window channel weather stripping. It goes inside of here. The glass slide up in between that. Put the door seals on. I got all four of them. This the rear. The part number to the rear. KG3025. And the front is KG3021. pretty simple the bottom it got the little clips but the top just push in I got that installed it still ain't in place like it should be once I put the glass in and roll it up it should push everything in place Before I put my glass in, I'm gonna go ahead and put the two mirrors on. But I had got ahead of myself. I didn't put the I didn't put this piece here in. It goes inside the weather stripping. This will keep the glass in place. The track slide in between this piece here. This track here, it just hold the glass in place. I'm gonna take you on the other side and show you. I haven't done it yet. This is the piece I'm talking about. You gotta pull these little clips here out. Then they just slide in between. You can see these little holes here. They just go in between. Then on the other side, you just push them back. But I got the mirrors here. I'm gonna go ahead and install these first. Got the mirror on. And the glass in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this front bump on now. Then I think I pretty much have everything on the front installed.
bag the car in. I'm finna go ahead and put this rear glass in. I just threw a blanket up here trying to protect the paint. But I got it sitting over here. It looked like from the factory they just seamed up the bottom. And once they put it on, they went around the edge and seamed it up. I just got some seams over here. Still about dry. I got one of the weather stripping for the doors on. It's a tight seal now. I'm about to go ahead and put this lock in and the trunk lock emblem. I'm go ahead and put that in. I gotta use a rivet gun to put these rivets in. I'm gonna go ahead and put this weather stripping on for the trunk. Got it here. Tried to clean it up a little bit. Plus, I'm gonna go ahead and take this rear clip back off. I just got it sitting up there just for me to paint it. But I'm going to take it back off and go ahead and run the wires to the lights. I'm going to run them back up through here. Plus, I had 10 of these tail lights. I'm going to go ahead and put them in. I tinted the tail lights, the side markers, and the upper lights. So I'm going to go ahead and install all that. Then I'll cut you back on. Side mark installed, the rear clip, tail lights. I'm finna go ahead and put the bump on now. Then I think I'll be done with the back. Alright, I got the bump on now. I'm finna move around to the side. Gonna put the the upper lights on. You got some LED strips here. I went on the tint of the lens because you can see the LED scripts through the clear glass when the upper lights ain't on. So you shouldn't be able to see them now until you cut them off. Got the LED strip installed, but I just used some silicone. Just sprayed it some on the back side, and, and once it dry, it ain't going nowhere. But he had these LED strips installed before, but he had a white background. I took the white background off because you'll be able to see it through the tent. So it's a black background, so you shouldn't be able to see anything until you cut the lights on. I also silicone these two, the lenses. Got the upper light installed. As you can see, you can't see the LED strip now with the lens tinted. Hold on one second, let me cut on the light and show you. Now you can see it's lit up now. Install the LS quarter top shell now. If you want to see this in depth video of me installing the shell, go ahead and click the card above, or you can go to my videos and find it. And I'm also have it in my uh, playlist of this car here. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it on, got it prepped up. As you can see, I done installed the top. I still gotta put these emblems on, on the side. Still got a few wrinkles in it. Maybe when some water and heat hit it, it'll draw it on up. This canvas, it's not light vinyl. Vinyl stretch a lot 
more easy than canvas. They go to emblems here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this shark emblem on too. If you need some, just go to my website. I got some on my website. Priest classic emblem on. Also, I got the Broham Brome emblem on. I'm finna go ahead and do the pinstripe and the molding. Got it over here. I'm gonna be using the gray pinstripe. Also, the molding is it's chrome and gray also. Let me go ahead and put that on. I cut it back on. Just got finished up doing the pin striping. Also did the side molding. And I put some pin striping on the quarter top trim. If you want to see how I done that, I'm going to put the video down in the description so you can check it out. What I'm finna do now, I'm finna go ahead and paint this fender wheel, paint it back black because it got overspray from the primer and the paint. I'm finna go ahead and paint it. I'm just gonna use some black spray paint. Let's see if I can find the spray paint. I got it right here. I think I got this at Walmart. Probably about two dollars. I just used some newspaper for the masking. I know somebody gonna say something about that. Why I use newspaper? Because it ain't gonna bleed through. It's just gonna be a lightly coat of black spray paint. I'm finna go ahead and do this headline on this box Chevy here. This is the material I'm gonna use. Pete got like a velvet material he got for me to put on it. I did the sunroof, so I'm gonna have to do the headliner from scratch. I got some Landau foam. This is what I'm going to use to do the headliner with. It's eighth of an inch. Let me go ahead and measure how much material I'm going to need. Now I'll cut you back on. Finished up on the headliner. Third brake light. I'm finishing up on the trim pieces now. If you want to see how I've done this, I'm going to put it down in the description. I have a video on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the door panels now. Put them back on. Just wanted to show you, give you a little tip on these little rubber bumpers. They go right here. One go right here, and the other one go right here. They kind of hard to go back in once you paint it and everything. Just trying to push it in, they ain't gonna go back in. This what I do. I wet it, dip it in some water. See how I got? I got a drill bit. Turn thing backwards. Just slide it one hole over the drill bit. Let's switch hands. Then you just put it up in there. 
wiggle it. Yeah, yeah. Stop.